Hi friends, Mrs. Rock here. I am so glad you're here because today we're gonna get inspired by one of my all-time favorite paintings, The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I feel like every time I see this painting, I'm immediately transported to France and I'm like Van Gogh staring out my window and seeing the swirling night sky full of stars and clouds and the bright moon. There's cypress trees in the foreground and a quaint French countryside town. Today, we're gonna get inspired by the starry night to create our own starry night owl drawing. Let's get started. Here's what you need. The first thing I'm going to draw for my starry night owl drawing is the owl. So I'm going to use a black crayon to start off with. Now my owl is the focal point of my drawing, so I want to make it nice and big in the center of my paper. And it's going to be about as big as my whole hand. Remember, you want to draw big enough so that your owl is about as big as your whole hand or maybe even a little bit bigger. If my hand is in the middle of my paper, I'm gonna use it as a guide. The top of my owl is going to be about where the top of my middle finger is. I'm going to draw one big curved line. It's like a big U shape or an upside down rainbow. Then for the body of my owl, it's going to be a giant U. Remember, it's got to be as big as my hand or even bigger. So my U is going to come all the way down here. Next, I'm going to draw the big eyes for my owl. I'm going to make two circles and they're going to meet about in the middle. So I'm going to draw a little tick mark for myself so I know where the middle is on my owl. So I need one big circle here and another big circle here. And I'm pressing pretty hard with my crayon. I might even want to go over some of these lines to make sure they're nice and dark. I'm going to put a little dot right in the center of each eye, and then I'm gonna draw a circle around that dot. So now it looks like my owl has really big eyes and it can see in the really low light in the middle of the night. I'm gonna put a V shape here for the beak, just like the letter V. Next, I need the wings. The two wings are gonna be on either side and they're just a curved line that comes in and down. And another one on the side, a curved line that comes in and back down. I could draw a pattern in the wings or some texture. I could draw some zigzags or you could draw curly lines or wavy lines, some kind of pattern in your wings. I'm gonna draw zigzags, they're my favorite. And I'm gonna add some texture here, some feathers on the belly of my owl. And I'm gonna do that just by making some U's. Let's draw some feet for our owl. They're gonna be coming down on either side. So for the feet, I'm gonna start off with a curved line on either side, and then I'm gonna make an upside down W. And I'm gonna curve back in. And then an upside down W here, and curve back in. So now it looks like the feet are gripping onto the branch. And now we need a branch. So I'm just gonna draw a line that comes back behind the owl. I don't want it in front of the owl because then it won't look like the owl is sitting on the branch. And then come back up. And then another line here, back behind those talons, back behind the feet of my owl. And another line that comes down here. And I'm gonna make this branch split off into two smaller branches. 
and I think it needs some little branches coming off with some leaves. So I'm just gonna make a little V shape here and a football shape like a leaf. Maybe another one over here. An upside down V shape here for another branch. And a couple more leaves that are kind of overlapping there. And how about another little branch over here? I'm done with my black crayon for now. Now that I have the outline for my owl and my branch, I'm gonna start on my starry night background. I'm gonna use a white crayon to outline my crescent moon here in the background, just like Van Gogh's. So first I make almost, oh, oh my goodness, I'm having such bad luck with crayons today. Let's try that again. All right, so I'm gonna draw almost a whole circle here, but I'm gonna stop. So it looks kind of like the letter C and then I'm gonna draw a smaller C inside and connect those to make my crescent moon. And I'm not gonna fill it in with white. Instead, I'm going to fill it in with my yellow crayon. I have to press kind of hard for it to show up on this dark blue paper. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of orange here and there just some little dashed lines here and there in my moon, just to give it a little bit of an orange color. I'm gonna come back to that moon later. Now I'm gonna move on to my swirly clouds in the sky. So I'm gonna use that white crayon again, and I'm gonna make three big swirls in my sky. So I'm gonna start on one end, and I'm making a dashed line. I'm picking up my crayon to make my dashes, and then I'm gonna make those dashes curl in to make a spiral. Okay, there's one big gust of windy clouds. How about another one over here? So again, I'm gonna start on the left side of my paper. Dashed line, kind of curving in, and then I have to curl it in to make my spiral. Making sure that I'm using dashed lines. Okay, I think I'm gonna make one more, maybe over here, I think I'll have some room. So I'm gonna start my dashed line over here. It goes back behind my owl and comes out the other side. Dashed lines to make my spiral. Awesome. Great, now I'm gonna make some stars. I'm gonna use that white crayon again and just make some dots all around my background. These are gonna be my stars. I'm going to outline each star with my yellow. So I'm just going around each dot with my yellow crayon in a circle. Now around each star, I'm gonna use that white crayon again. I'm going to make some dashed lines around it so it looks like it's glowing. are really starting to twinkle. Now I'm gonna go around each star with my yellow, making those dashed lines again. And it's okay if they overlap with the white dashed lines. It'll all end up kind of blending together and look like Van Gogh's Starry Night painting. Some 
of them might have more than others, and that's okay, because maybe some of the stars are smaller, they're farther away, some of the stars are bigger and burning brighter in the sky. I'm gonna do the same thing around my moon, making some white dashed lines and some yellow dashed lines and maybe even some orange dashed lines. go back and add some orange around some of my stars, not all of them. I just want some of them to stand out with a little orange. It looks like some of my swirls in the background have gotten a little lost on my paper. So I'm gonna use my white crayon again and make some more dashed lines to really show off and emphasize those swirly lines. like Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night now that I have those swirly clouds in the background and my moon and my stars. Now I'm going to add some different kinds of blues in my background and you might be thinking the background's already blue. Well if I add maybe some light blue, some turquoise, even some dark blue to the background, it's really going to make it look like Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. And again, I'm using just these dashed lines and it's okay if they overlap with some of the other lines that I've drawn in the stars and in the clouds. That's okay because if you look at Vincent Van Gogh's artwork, his lines overlapped also and some of the colors would even mix together. My background looks super exciting. Now I'm going to focus on my owl and my branch and I'm going to use these same ideas that I used in my background to color what's in my foreground. That means what's closest to me. I'm going to be using dashed lines and little splotches of color to create the color for my owl and my branch. So again I'm going to use my crayon and just make those dashed lines to fill in my areas with color. It's okay if a little bit of the blue is showing in between the lines. You still get the impression of the color. Notice I'm not coloring in anything solid. I'm using those dashed lines to create that Van Gogh effect.
Now that I'm done with my branch, I'm gonna move on to my owl. And I don't necessarily have to use realistic colors for my owl. I can use whatever color my imagination tells me to. So if even I wanted to use pinks and purples, or oranges, greens, blues, I can use all the colors in the rainbow. So fun. I just really loved making this starry night owl drawing with you today. I loved making all of the swirls in the background and I thought it was really fun to draw my owl's funny face. I hope you had fun too and remember when you're creating the possibilities are endless.